Bipolar disorders are um, an extremely painful illness. These people experience mood swings that can um, be just devastating to their lives. Um, it's, uh, it's not unusual for um, a patient with a bipolar disorder to enter the hospital and be up for several days. Um, they can't sleep, they can't eat, they can't stop talking. And um, then the other side of that is when they're depressed, they can barely move. So it's an extremely damaging and devastating illness. Bipolar disorder is often referred to as manic depression or manic depressive disorder. It is marked by severe mood swings between depression and elation and by remission and recurrence. A number of medications, referred to as mood stabilizers, are effective in reducing these mood swings. Mark, Mark, look, aren't these gorgeous? I got the best sale downtown. Don't you just love these? I've been seeing a lot of things that uh, I've seen in the past. Oh, Mark, what are you talking about? Well, I think we ought to give Dr. Sagely a call. Dr. Sagely? I don't need Dr. Sagely. You don't take them back. Is I here again? Your mom's made soup for snacks again. So sing a song of cheer again. Soup for snacks are here again. Did you have a good tea at school today? You're getting that way again. What way? Like when you were sick? You know, Sean, sometimes you're just like your dad. This program will introduce the condition known as bipolar disorder and will give an overview of the current medications and nursing interventions for treating it. We will begin with a discussion of the signs and symptoms you may encounter as you seek to assess the condition, an overview of what we understand of the pathology of the condition, an overview of the types of nursing interventions used to treat bipolar disorder, a more detailed look at the major medications in use, an examination of the process of nursing intervention with medications, and then an examination of the specific side effects you might encounter. First, we will discuss assessing the signs and symptoms of bipolar disorder. Bipolar disorder falls under the category known as mood disorders and is marked by severe mood swings between depression and elation. The lows you dread and the highs you dread after a while because on the lows all you want to do is sleep and on the highs the only thing you don't want to do is sleep. So I mean it becomes a constant irritation. The DSM-IV-TR, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, describes two types of bipolar disorder. Bipolar 1 is marked by one or more manic episodes and one or more major depressive episodes. Bipolar 2 is marked by one or more depressive episodes along with at least one episode of hypomania. This is a milder form of mania. A diagnosis of bipolar 2 would not be applied to an individual who has had one or more full manic episodes. Bipolar disorder is also marked by remissions and recurrences. There are vast shifts in an individual's moods. At one moment, an individual can be euphoric or in a manic state. For example, they may have feelings of grandiosity, a decrease in the need for sleep, or over-involvement in pleasurable activities, such as sexuality. Suddenly, the person may be plunged into a severely depressed state where, for example, they may have ideas of suicide, feelings of worthlessness, or a diminished interest in pleasure or activities. Some people can have these changes numerous times a day or week, and others may have long periods of one or the other. In severe forms, these patients can become psychotic and completely incapable of performing everyday activities. <laughs> 